Hi, so I'm Kelly PC and I'm joined by Lauren De Silva and we are in her home, which is in Landrin Dodwells. Thank you for saying that. I was a little bit worried. And and, and so we're getting into the world of our, our teachers and our, our tutors and, and I really sort of wanted to ask you what how how did you enter this world of crystal healing? Okay. How did it how did it suck you in? And it did. Absolutely. Um, I was looking for a therapy ah. um, and I didn't know, I knew I wanted to be a therapist, I'd been a school teacher for more than a decade and I knew I wanted to start working as a therapist but I couldn't find the right therapy ah. and I tried aromatherapy and I liked the oils but I didn't want to do massage and I got quite interested in feng shui and space clearing um, and I was looking around and then my mother had a yoga teacher who was training to be a crystal therapist and invited me to be a case study. Oh wonderful. So, so I thought oh okay and I have to say I was a real skeptic. Yeah. I actually thought this sounded not very believable. I thought okay. Yeah. How can you put a crystal by someone and make any difference to their health or well-being? I didn't really believe in it. Yeah. Um, but I thought, I'll go, I'll go along, I'll be a case study. And on the first treatment, I had this amazing reaction to it. And wow. It was really um, emotional. At that point, I, had to, I don't know how long it had been since I cried, but I kept all my emotions well pushed down and uh, she put some crystals around me and suddenly I found I was weeping into my pillow oh, and I thought gosh there's something going on here um, and I could feel uh, energy moving around me, wow. I could feel energy at my feet when she was working near my head so it wasn't her, it was definitely the crystals and it was quite persuasive and it was life changing when I went home um, during that first treatment that I made some decisions I actually had the feelings came to the surface and I realised I wanted to make changes in my life and actually went home and discussed those changes with, with my ex-husband and, and started to put them into action. So it was a life changing so moment. It was huge. <laughs> it was like a change of game. It was like massive. Um, and then I was so, after three treatments, like, like the students do case studies now, three treatments, and I was blown away by the crystals. So I asked her, where could I find out a bit more? Is there someone closer to me? Because it was quite a trip to this lady. And she gave me the name of somebody in Leicestershire that she trained with. Right. Um, and then I was at home a few months later and the night school brochure came through the door. And I opened the night school brochure and there was an introduction to crystal healing with that lady's name oh. on there, 10 weeks course at, at my local night school. Mm. So of course I went. Um, and then I got to the end of the 10 weeks and I was just like, wow, this is just so exciting. I need to train properly. Um, and I went off and did my two year diploma wow. at that point. So it was just, I think once the crystals found me, there was absolutely no looking back. Because a lot that of people- was it. A lot of people, you know, they get into crystal healing really because they're looking for a therapist for themselves, and and so they they you know they they get, you know, they have an issue, and everyone has an issue. That's well, I didn't it. know I had an you issue. You didn't, did you? I Which actually is didn't think I had any issues. I was yeah. just going along to humour my mother. Oh. So, um, so and then I found out I did have some issues that I hadn't mm. been looking at. Which, so it's even more impressive actually. It does yeah. seem as if you were guided somewhat, as, as I say, because it, it kind of changed the yeah. course of your life. Completely. And, and here you are, the chair of ACHO, mm -hmm. which has a massive <laughs> responsibility. So. And, and of course you run your own school as well. I do. Yeah, I mean it's just mm -hmm. literally, um, once the crystals had me, that was it. Yeah. That was it. it and I think it, yeah, it is that, that snowball effect, isn't it? You go deeper and deeper mm. and wanting to know more and more. And of course, the more deeper you go, the more the, you know, more questions arise. And, and that's the thing with crystal healing. I think it's so expansive. Yeah. Um, I don't think you, you, it's not like you learn a few basic techniques and that's it, off you go. Yeah. There's just more to learn and more to learn and more to learn. And it just expands and you can go as deep as you like. Totally. Yeah. And it's very creative as well. Mm. And, and so um, as much as, you know, 
you, you and I both know that we have protocols when we teach, mm. but it, again, it, it, you know, it really is a very creative and, um, experience. Yeah. But and exciting. Very exciting, I would say. So, and learning new things all the time. Um, I'm dating it back. It's nine. It's just over nineteen years since that first therapy wow. session. So, and it still holds my attention, and I'm not somebody, I get bored easily, so for something to hold my attention and keep me interested yeah. that long, it says a lot about crystals and crystal therapy.